Hey, what's up, guys? This is Caden and Jeff from Achievement Hunter, and this is Top 5 LEGO Games. Huh. I feel uniquely unqualified to be a part of this video, as I've only ever played LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. Really? Only that one? Well, I played. I, I fucked around in Star Wars for a bit, but I never beat it or anything. Number 5 is LEGO Harry Potter, and I'm gonna say... Is this years 1 through 4? This is uh, uh, 5 through 7, but at the same time, 1 through 4 were really good, too, so I'm gonna say both. Okay. Because they kind of, like, they go together. Super cool cop-out, sure. And uh, number four, the Lego movie video game, which is kind of very vanilla Lego game. It's very easy to jump into and very... Uh, it, it, it suits the movie so well, as silly as that sounds. It's one of those movie tie-in games that works perfectly. Okay, I'll trust you, Caden. Are hey, you guys doing Legos? Yeah, we're doing Legos. Oh, dude, sweet. You, uh, Michael, you've almost 100%ed every Lego game. I've 100%ed, right? like, nine of them. Marvel superheroes. Maybe ten? I take it back. I played the first level of this game, and then I got a uh, fucking drove around in the open world. This said, game is huge. It's it is big. ridiculously yeah. large. It's a big very, boy. Very, very big. Starts with a really cool boss fight with Sandman, though. And the interesting thing about this one, it's a completely original story. It's all it's all made just for the game. It's not based on any movie or anything. Oh, really? Yeah. It did oh, come cool. out around the same time as what? Uh, one of the Marvel movies. I don't remember which one. Probably one of the seven hundred. Sure, yeah, one yeah. of the seven hundred <laughs> yeah. Marvel movies. Everything this comes out around the same time as one right. Of Marvel so movies. this <laughs> one. This was uh, Lego Batman Three. You said that this one definitely deserved to be on the list, especially yeah. number two. Yeah, because, because of. I mean, it's called Lego Batman Three, but essentially this is Lego Justice League. And didn't this have like a ton of really good DLC too? Had supposedly. a ton of DLC. Like there was some right out the gate, and then they added a bunch. There's a really cool uh, Adam West Batman DLC. It's got Arrow DLC, which is like the dude from the shows in it. That game is fantastic. And number one, Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga. Couldn't couldn't just pick one. Had I guess to be you gotta, all of it together. I guess you gotta. Yeah, it's where it all started. Lego where? Star Wars on the Xbox does not uh, does not hold up graphically, but still very very fun. Fun game, yeah. And uh, it was the first one that you could actually do online co-op for Lego and Star then, Wars: The Complete uh, Saga. And then the last one. <laughs> yeah, they, I think there's three total. They they patched it in Lego Indie Two like two years after it came out. Huh. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Legos are fun. If you like that shit, click this shit. Shit, like his butt. And if you like this cock, click his cock. For more caca.